Hey Raider guys, so we're coming at you with another video in my COVID Chronicle series and today we're going to be talking about alter egos. Let's get into Let's it! Let's do it! Yeah. But first, of course, if you're new to my channel, what up? I'm Hey Management. I'm joined by my friend Jen out of hey It's Mandatory Fun. Go ahead and check that out. And of course, if you're new to my channel, I talk about pop culture reviews, current events, and the scope of entertainment, culture, and purpose. So be sure to watch those videos as you are finishing this video. Of course, in my COVID Chronicle series, I do kind of like an update with everything that's going on. Again, from last week to this week, nothing really changed. Um, I don't know if you've seen anything different um, in stores or anything. I think things are starting slowly opening up. Uh, yeah. We're not fully open up yet, but like again, it's still kind of like in that same like middle ground of softly opening. I think the few things that are open up though, um are like packed so mm. for instance right around the corner mm. like crumble cookies mm. is popping yeah. like everyone's coming out with cookies and ice yeah. cream and yeah. yeah so the few um office or stores that are open are actually really really busy yeah i think in my opinion makes sense um i saw i drove past my local like sports clips and it like it was packed like obviously they're trying to keep oh, yeah. everyone like hey we're they're trying to um tell people to go away like sorry we can't see you like we need to like distance and have yeah. not a lot of people packed here so i totally get it and so i'm sure as soon as people working through the motions of things opening up those lines are gonna slowly die down but like everyone's kind of like in a mad rush absolutely especially <laughs> like the salon or like you know hair thing i bet people are coming and looking like cavemen yeah. and like are dying for yeah, yeah, but yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, other than that, I think we are still kind of cool. I'm still opening. I'm still waiting for the day that I can go bingo. <laughs> I, I just want to be there first. Like, and it's not like, stuff. and like, cause like, okay, for the people watching, like there's a lot of old people who play it, but young people too. But like, I'm pretty sure they're like, like they're going to be staying away, you know, hopefully maybe hopefully, yeah, hopefully. like, unless they're diehard, then they're, they could be very diehard maybe. bingo players too. But like. It just betters my chances, so okay. <laughs> So going into our main topic, I want to talk about alter egos just because two weeks ago I talked about like COVID mask and like different masks in different genres, whether it's Marvel, DC and all this stuff. Mm. And last week I talked about how, how we change in this top quarantine period, you know, are you still the same person or have you changed in this process? And more, for the most part, I'm the same person kind of thing. Just, I'm just at home more. Um, and so I kind of want to talk about alter egos just for the fun of it, right? Because like, you know, you're at home and maybe you want to come up with a character that's different from the norm, you know? And so um, for alter egos, we're just having fun and just coming up with some whatever parameters and come up with a character um, that we would want to create, right? And so- Yeah, super fun. Yeah, so I guess I'll start off with mine. Um, if I were to pick a parameter, I'll probably pick like a genre like Star Wars. And so I would pick someone who is a great Jedi, um, someone who's very like a Kwai Ganjin, like someone very respectable. Oh, yeah. Um and but like goes by his own ways, you know, not necessarily out like just on the outside periphery. Not, like, not breaking the rules. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. like will get the job done yeah, yeah. by his like own means. Yeah, because I feel like there's um, the Jedi Order is very rigid, and hence why they fell, right? Sure. And so I think I want to operate in the gray Jedi area. Um, if I, my lightsaber would probably be, I want something rare, so an orange lightsaber or yellow. Mm -hmm. um, yellow's like more like the temple guards, so I want something like rare, but like prestigious. Um, so that's that. Um, a different abilities. I'll probably pick like a Cal Kestis, um, like a force echo. He can touch objects and see like how the memories of that object type thing through the force. And so That's something so cool. like yeah. a unique ability. And so I don't know what name I would want to play with. And then that takes um, time. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. <laughs> it takes time. And then I'll probably pick like a um, what like a like a like a ship like a Corvette class like. Um, I don't know. It's it's a it's a it's an imperial ship, but the Corvus would probably be something I would like. I'll probably hijack it or something. Um, so um, something cool like that. That great so, area. Yeah. yeah. I mean, also just talking about alter egos, like, you know, like 
I had to take time thinking about this, but you know, like it's, I was telling you earlier, like how hard it is to come up with alter egos yeah. and stuff like that. Like we were talking about like Pokemon Go. Was creating like, an avatar yeah, for a game. Yeah, right. creating avatars <laughs> for game. Like for me, like it's super anxiety. Like I have to take, I have to wait. Like some, if some game asks me like, like you have to pick your character right now. I'm like, oh, I, I can't do this. You're like, like wait, <laughs> don't put me on the spot. Dude. No, it took me 24 hours to like name my character or whatever. Yeah. And when you had to like choose a faction, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the colors, uh, another day because I had to like, you know, consult with the people in my shop. Yeah. Like, to, like it took a long time. Like, yeah. it's not something you're gonna put me on the spot for. Um, which is also kind of funny. I've been playing a lot of um, Naruto Shinobi Striker, so they, you have to build your actual like ninja that you fight with. So it's kind of cool. That was cool. Um, and I'll like I'll show like some clips of that too, maybe. But like I actually, so I'm normally I'm a range type person. I like playing sure. far far away. Mm -hmm. But there's a there's a battle sequence in which you have to fight kind of like close range. Okay. So I have to develop a character that fights close range. Yeah. So it's, it was a very strange. Thing for me to do. You're like, this isn't what I wanted. <laughs> yeah. I just, just want to fall. Like, so it's one of those things where I do a hit and run. Yeah. So I, I hit them and then like damage Scurry them. Off. Like, <laughs> yeah, they have like damage alien like ailments, you yeah. know, like yeah, yeah. they're 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 taking damage, you know. Right. And so and I run away and I just gorilla and, warfare. Yeah. Like us. I just hit and run. That's my tactic. <laughs> it's effective. It's yeah. effective. Yeah. So other than that rant, um, how about yours? Like I guess for your alter ego uh, we can use like a parameter of uh, maybe Hogwarts I know Hogwarts, you like Harry Potter yeah maybe not Hogwarts specifically sure, yeah, 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 one, yeah. Right? like the wizarding, the, the, the yeah, wizarding world the wizarding world yeah um, yeah I totally I'm all about I have many fandoms and they mm -hmm. often are in like the fantasy or um, you know some sci-fi mm -hmm. or like if, if, if we're in the medieval times like I am so excited to yeah, yeah. Like, so that's definitely my realm um, and sure so the wizarding world I think that I think professors are super highly regarded and they're obviously very important, but I'm also like, I think an aura would be really cool too. Just like bust in a room and be like, you're under arrest, you're under arrest, wave my wand. Yeah. Everyone's under arrest <laughs> and we're kicking butt and taking names and then we're out of here, we roll out. And well, I think that's super cool. And their outfit is so cool. Yeah. But I, I was gonna say, like, at least maybe you could be a part-time professor. Like, you can, like, exactly. like be a so substitute teacher. Like, and then, so like, have an alter ego within an alter ego, right? Yeah. Because then, like, you know, you're gonna be that like that badass on the streets and like waving your wand and yeah. like taking everyone to jail. Yeah. But then I also really love. And, like, bear with me, bear with me, guys. <laughs> professor Trelawney's job is really cool. Like, yeah. she herself and whatever you can dive into the whole theory of Professor Trelawney on your own time. Like, her whole story there is there's there's a lot of meat in there yeah it's not just what she just looked crazy and no one gave her any kind of credibility i don't want any of that but i would love to just sit in a room in like flowy clothes <laughs> looking at a crystal ball and be like yeah this star hit a tea leaves i have to figure that out i yeah. feel like that's a thing but like i'm all about it i just want to like roll into a classroom in like a gi or something yeah. comfortable and then yeah. be like all right y'all we're gonna foretell the future yeah and i'm like, all about it. A, like a guest lecturer you know exactly <laughs> exactly because like you know i feel like as an or as like i'm laying down the law you yeah. have to be really um you know force you have to be a person of authority yeah but then i also on my break time i just want to drink tea yeah and look into a crystal ball <laughs> yeah that's perfect. Yes. <laughs> Professor, um, Carlin Brothers on YouTube, they do like a whole like spiel about her. That she's yeah. like, she, her, her predictions are actually really correct, but just no one, no one like yeah. takes her seriously. Like they were saying like, they go into it, like they didn't say Harry Potter's birthday correctly or whatever, but they, they were actually theorizing um, because he had, because Harry Potter had like Voldemort's right. uh, essence, mm -hmm. And then, like he, exactly. she was, Voldemort's she was birthday. reading his, like his like soul, you know, in that moment, right. or a mix of it. And so, like she, she said, like um, because Voldemort was born in the winter, right. um, and then and Harry Potter was like, my birthday's in the summer, right. And so, like there was there was actual things that was getting correct there. And so, side note. Yeah, Harry Potter's birthday is in July. I think he even like quoted that in the mm -hmm. book, which is also, uh, I mean, J.K. Rowling's birthday. Surprise, mm. surprise. Which is also <laughs> my birthday. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, I, yeah, when I discovered.
discover that, I was like, no, I was like so giddy. I was like, yeah. all right, Leo's rubbing. Yeah. That's such a Leo thing to do too. Yeah. All right, we're going to make the main character have my birthday yeah. and yeah, carry on with that. Speaking so. of like <laughs> famous birthdays and the fandoms that you like, Naruto's birthday is my birthday. No, no. Uh, uh, and then, no, no, like really? legit. Like when I found that <laughs> out, like I was like, this, 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 this manga was made for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's so my birthday's October 10 and there's actually a character in Naruto called 1010 so I was like I was like yo this show is blown. me yo <laughs> looking at you yeah. right that's really crazy yeah yeah that's yeah that's cool I didn't know I going it on topic with our avatars and alter egos what well, one there's a facebook avatar that i made and oh, then right. you need to make yours I and then i'll that. post it here like it's pretty cool like i think i did a pretty good job you did. like it looks so like you. yeah looks fun <laughs> yeah. um and then like if we were to create if this was a tv show movie whatever um who would you want to play yourself like in the in your alter ego Ooh, what actress yeah. or actor whatever mm -hmm. what did you, um I thought about it for a second and mm -hmm. like look I really I took this as like a moment earlier to just name all of my girl crushes <laughs> and I was like okay now I like, reel it in um maybe like Zoe Saldana yeah yeah that's good but also like maybe Zoe Kravitz maybe all oh, the Zoe Kravitz. oh my god I love her stop like, like if so if I were to pick someone from <laughs> my character um I would pick I don't know so I did like a top three actors of Asian Americans that you should um, look up in 2020. So I'll probably link that here, but also there's like two Filipino actors there, um, Manny Jacinto and Carlin James. So I'll probably pick either one to pick me, even though they don't look like me. Um, I'll just pick them because, yeah, we'll you know, there's not, there's, there's not a lot of, yeah, <laughs> there's not a lot of Asian American <laughs> actors out there. So uh, I would pick them. So yeah. All right. Yeah, I. Me and my coworker Megan. If you see this, you see this. But like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we we talk about this all the time. Like, if we were waiting in line, like for a computer that like we dropped off at Basecom, um, and then we're just sitting in the waiting room yeah. for it to be like reimage, like we would just go in these like it, like instances. Like, okay, which fandom would you pick? This, this, this. Like, which enemy would you pick against? And so we actually, it's actually a fun game that we tend to do. And then we would like come up with other parameters. So like, what's your weakness? Like, I was like, just gonna say you like, need to have like handicaps or something. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, you, are you weak against fire? Are you weak against things? So we go like really in depth. So I don't know if you have time. Like, it's a good fun game too. Like, even in, in a party to do like come up with avatars and your certain parameters that you come up with. So I was, you know, it'd be fun if you created like one of those spin boards. <laughs> okay. And it was like, all right, and you flick the thing, and it yeah. lands on like you know impervious against heat or yeah. impervious whatever or like but you're afraid of the dark or something <laughs> okay so cool i thought you i hope you had fun coming with avatars and enjoying our little stories here so thank you again for watching you can follow me at my instagram at hey mitch mitch you can follow jen at her guilty pleasure g-i-l-d-y pleasure and you can also follow us at our joint instagram at it's managed for fun where we also do other videos on our channel so thanks again for watching see you in the next time peace 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 thanks. be with you bye cool.